You know, he came out ready to play. He was playing hard, and that's what we really, really need as a defense. And he kind of he kind of stepped up. When we needed him. And it seemed like Ifo and Troy kind of battled through a tough yeah. physical game and made some uh, yeah. big plays. How much did the secondary help you guys now? Uh, I, think, I think they did a great job. I know Troy, Ifo, those guys, Darden, Reggie, Tyree, all those guys. They work they they work hard, and it's great to see them get um, competitive out there. Like I said, they had some great receivers, so it was going back and forth, but uh, they played pretty well. Did you have a sense that Tyrell could be a special tackle? I mean, a true freshman has to come in in a, about the most difficult spot you can be in to, in that third quarter. Mm -hmm. And what have you seen from him in practice? Uh, that guy's great. I think he's going to help us out a lot in the future. Uh, he grew up really quick, and we got to remind those guys that we, we really need him out there. Uh, Reggie also, he's doing a great job in the secondary. I mean, they're young guys, but they're ready to step up and make plays, and I think that really helped I us. I met Tyrell Crosby now. Oh, the, I thought you said Ty, yeah. Tyrell. Ty, man, I see that guy in practice every day. That dude's, that dude's gonna be a great guy. Uh, he, he's a great person, he works hard, and I think um, he, he's not afraid of anybody, and that's what I like yeah. about him the most. He's always ready to compete. Uh, I love going pass rush against him every time I get a chance, because um, he's a special dude. Tony, you guys Thanks, gave Tony. up some long third downs mm -hmm. in that third quarter. How frustrating is that to know that you guys stiff, you stuff them from first and second down and you give up those long plays? Uh, it can be frustrating, but I think that's um, where problems happen. You got to remember that uh, we still got more downs and uh, they're going to be competing, so we have to compete as well. We can't give up, and I think uh, late in the game, we kind of respond to that better. Um, that's just giving us, once they get a first time, it gives us another opportunity to play, so we got to step up to the plate and make it happen. What about conditioning? How was the conditioning? How did they, did it seem, at least it seemed to us, mm -hmm. that they slowed down their offense, slowed down in the late third into the fourth quarter? Mm -hmm. How was the tempo? Um, how was their tempo compared to your defense? Um, it's kind of hard to say because, I mean, we go against Oregon's offense every day, so any tempo is um, it's no big deal to us. Mm -hmm. But um, early on, they were kind of trying to go fast pace a little bit. They actually scored a couple of times on, on the fast pace offense, but I think that's mainly because we just, I don't know, we just weren't expecting it, but um, once our defense adjusted, I think we were in the right positions. Was there one point where you felt this game's tide kind of turned tonight? Um, I think on offense, as Marcus was rolling out, and he did a little flip pass for Royce, and uh, we ended up getting the first down. That was a good momentum shift for us. Uh, we were just waiting for that moment for the game to change. We just knew we had to keep working, and uh, we finally got it. Did you guys kind of feed off the offense when they got to their tempo and got things going? It seems like you guys actually got better uh, as well. Yeah, I think so. Uh, I remember I was running on the field for field goal, and uh, Marcus telling me, just give me one more stop. And I was like, we got you. I'm telling you, we, we, we're going to get it done. And of course, went out deep because they got our stop, and we kind of just rolled from there. Helford said that he'd pay to watch Marcus play. How glad are you that you don't have to face him uh, on Saturdays? I mean, I've had to fake him Saturday in practice, so. I'm extremely happy on Saturdays that I don't have to see him anymore because that guy, he's spectacular, he's a special dude, and the just way he commands and leads our team is great for us. What did you guys do to slow down the running game? Um, I think we just played hard. Uh, last week, I don't think we did that, and coaches were really stressing that this week. So in practice, we picked it up, um, our intensity, picked out our, our technique, and we just, we just uh, played discipline this, this week. I think that was the main thing. Was that kind of number one with the bullet on the game plan is, hey, we're not going to let them run on us, whatever else they do, where you want to stop their run? Um, I wouldn't say that. I think our main thing, like I said, was just play harder because last week we didn't do that. And that's the main thing our coaches were stressing. And I think if we go out and play hard and we compete, I think the run's not no big deal. Yeah. I mean, how satisfying was it? I'm sure you guys heard the talk about a Big Ten team, physical running game. How satisfying was it to come out and slow them down? Um, I don't know. It's hard to say. I'm just happy with the victory. I mean, we got more games going on. Now we got to focus on Wyoming. But um, it's exciting to see those guys really step up and, and compete the way they, they did. So I think it's, it's really promising. And we just got to remind ourselves that we, we're capable of doing that. So we just got to continue to work. Tony, what did you see from Armstead tonight? Beast finally was released. Yeah, um, yeah we, we've been seeing it for a while now. He finally got his time to shine. And uh, he's really stepping up. Him and DeForest and Balducci, I mean, those guys, they've been having a lot of questions this whole offseason. But um, I always knew that they were ready for it. I mean, they've been playing as true freshmen, so I think it's no big deal for them. They just really, they just finally have the opportunity to be out there, to be the starters, and I think they competed pretty well. It seemed like all of us have always been wanting more from Armistead, right. thinking more was coming. And that's so funny that you say he's finally released. Yeah. Same thing with you guys. Have you guys right. known that he has more coming? I always thought so. I mean, from day one when we first got here, we were like, man, this dude's going to be a special player. Mm -hmm. And now he's more seasoned. He kind of knows uh, what the offensive line is doing more. He kind of understands the game better. He's just really out there dominating. And this is what I expected to see from those guys. Uh, they're really holding their own up front, and I'm happy for them.